All right, I'm convinced. Sammy isn't even trying anymore. Also, something about how Apple has a lot of money today as opposed to yesterday. Get daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, oh, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Front Page Tech. Of course, show that gives you all the latest tech news from one geek that's me to another that is you. Uh, it is Thursday. <laughs> Happy that day. Happy Thursday. Uh, congratulations, Apple and Tim Cook hitting that $1 trillion market cap. Really crazy number. Uh, also, Tim Cook... <laughs> He isn't the only rich guy today. No, no. Your boys, Jern and Burn, are sitting on a hot couple of Subway gift cards. We ain't afraid to spend them. Okay, so story numero uno. You know, speaking of money, if you are a creator that depends on Patreon for a lot of yours, a lot of your money, uh, then uh, you're missing a lot of that today. Missing a lot of money. Disaster has struck over at Patreon. All of a sudden, the website just started declining bank cards of many supporters and declining them not because they didn't have money, just because f you, I guess. Apparently, a lot of the payments were actually flagged as fraud. Now, just a little bit ago, Patreon did add something new in terms of how they bill people on the website, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it, just a guess. Of course, because payments were flagged as fraud and a lot of cards declined, a lot of creators when they went to log in and see their balance today were missing a lot of money. Of course, for creators that heavily, heavily rely on Patreon, something like this is super devastating at the beginning of the month. In fact, one of them actually tweeted that because of this hiccup on Patreon, they actually won't be able to afford their seizure medications this month. Now, as much as I want to say, as a creator, you should have diversified your income. You shouldn't have had all your eggs in the Patreon basket. I get it. I understand. This is this really sucks, and it can be devastating for a lot of creators. So, Patreon, get your shit together, man. Great. We can just put that into your retirement account and make it go to work for you, and it's gone. So, if you haven't heard yet, thanks to 9to5Mac, there was an icon spotted in the latest iOS 12 beta. An icon that kind of, sort of, definitely leaks the iPad design, the next iPad design, the one that's not out yet. As you can tell by the iPad in the icon, at least the design of that iPad, uh, no home button, smaller bezels, and no notch. So, if you were worried that the iPad Pro was going to be all notched up, uh, don't worry about it. Now, of course, for everyone being like, oh my god, there's no home button, there's no notch, who saw this coming? You should have watched our fucking show from weeks ago. Now, a lot of people, and, you know, kind of rightfully so, have assumed that because it has Face ID that the new iPads will also have the notch. I'm gonna come out here and say, uh, uh-uh, it's not gonna happen. From a manufacturing standpoint, if you look at the thickness of the notch, right, and what we used for the iPhone 10 and that design, we could totally just include that same thickness on an iPad and just have the same sized bezels all the way around. So yeah, I'm gonna put my money on iPads not having a notch. That would make no sense. Uh, not gonna have it. Trust in Jern. Uh-huh. Yep. Huh. Okay, as if we didn't already know everything there is to know about the upcoming Galaxy Note 9 that is going to be announced in a few days, uh, Samsung leaked a thing again. I'm pretty sure they've been leaking everything on purpose. There's no way this happens by accident. Uh, now they leaked a pre-order screen page thing for it. The whole thing, it just leaked. Say hello to superpower, says the pre-order page, and boop, there it is. The, the, the phone is right there. Hasn't been announced yet, but oh, it's on the website. The page is obviously a pre-order page. We know that because, well, it invited you, the customer, to pre-order the phone and be one of the first to experience it. That last bit was in quotes. Of course, if you did try to pre-order the phone, there was an error, so you couldn't actually do that, and now the page is officially taken down. Like, the pre-order page itself, gone. But no concept images, no rumors, there is the f***ing phone. They put it on the website like a bunch of idiots. Again, I'd like to remind you, I am a huge Samsung fan. My Galaxy S8 Plus is one of the greatest phones I ever, ever had the pleasure of using. But come on, guys, like, are you even trying? I am convinced that all this stuff, all the leaks are on purpose. It didn't accidentally happen. None of them at this point. 
I honestly believe none of these accidentally happened. The reason we know everything there is to know about the Galaxy Note 9 already before you announced it was because you're not trying to stop it. You're leaking it. This doesn't... Come on. That doesn't happen on purpose. Pick your balls up off the floor. Announce the phone so then we can choose not to buy it. And now, today's sponsor. In a land where premium content packages will be the norm and ISPs can control the very websites you see, VPNs are an invaluable tool to preserve what's left of our sweet internet freedom, especially Freedom VPN by F-Secure. Freedom VPN gives you all the tools that you need to browse the internet with confidence, knowing that those pesky ISPs won't stop you from having an unfiltered and unthrottled experience. Freedom VPN scans literally every website you visit, keeping harmful threats away, and their intuitive user interface lets you control everything with a single button. And trust us, you can feel safe knowing that you're in good hands with F-Secure. They've been defending tens of millions of users around the globe from digital threats for over 25 years. That's more years than I've even been alive. So check out the link in the video description below. You can click that and get a free five days of Freedom VPN. And of course, huge thanks to F-Secure for keeping us safe and supporting this community. And that is the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did, be sure to go ahead and hit that like button. If you hate my stupid face, which you might now, hit that dislike button and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow and all that good stuff.